Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a musician and composer, and I love folk music. I really love all the instruments you can find in different folk genres. One of the instruments that I've always been fascinated with is the accordion. With such a wide range of uses and styles, the accordion is in a ton of different kinds of music. And after months of searching pawn shops and Facebook Marketplace, I finally found one. So over the next month, I will be learning how to play the accordion. Now, I'm not starting from square one with this instrument. I do know how to play piano, so the keyboard side will be pretty familiar to me. But the button side and constantly having to push air in and out of the instrument is definitely going to be new for me. And at the end of the month, I will write a piece featuring the accordion. Wish me luck. <laughs> So this week I spent some time figuring out the buttons on the left side. You've got 20 rows with six columns all stacked together. The second button in each row gives you your bass note. In this case, it's an E. The first button in the row is a major third above the bass note, so this would be a G sharp. Then going from inside out, you have chords. Major, minor, dominant seven, and diminished. The rows are also stacked in fifths, which makes playing simple diatonic songs pretty easy. You have your one chord, below is your four chord, above is your five chord. The only tricky part is that I can't see any of the buttons while it's strapped in front of me. There are a few buttons with divots or textures on them to find your place, but everything is so close together it's a real challenge to play what you want. Okay, so I've been practicing the accordion as much as I can, but the keys that are bent on the keyboard side are really just, they're messing with my playing, they're messing with my technique. So I decided that I'm gonna take it into the instrument repair shop and see if they can do anything. And if so, hopefully we'll get it fixed and it'll be a lot easier to play. bad news they didn't there wasn't anybody who was comfortable touching the accordion I figured that might happen but they told me to call back they have a contact in Dallas for somebody who can maybe do it so hopefully we fix this thing somehow and hopefully it doesn't cost too much so it took some time, but I was able to take the accordion in to get fixed. It was an easy repair, and they didn't find anything else wrong with it, which was awesome. While it was in the shop, I decided to read up about the history of the accordion. The history of the accordion starts in China, of all places. Or at least with the Chinese instrument, the Shang. The Shang is a free reed flute-like instrument that dates back to 1100 BCE. Europe was introduced to the Shang in 1777, which led to the development of other free reed instruments like the harmonica and the accordion. For a long time, the accordion, as we know it today, was thought to be invented in 1822 by Christian Friedrich Ludwig Buschmann, the same guy credited for inventing the harmonica. See my other video for more info. However, other information has suggested that there were earlier designers and models made. The official name accordion wasn't patented until 1829. The accordion quickly spread throughout Europe, becoming an instrument for the common people. Different countries integrated the accordion into their own unique musical culture, which led to a wide variety of music being played on the instrument. European immigrants then spread the accordion around the world, increasing the accordion's library of musical styles even more. Today, the accordion is a staple of various folk music genres, from German polka to United States Cajun and Tejano music. The accordion is also making its way into more modern styles like rock and pop. So this is the week two check-in and it's been so much easier to play the accordion with the keyboard fixed. Nothing sticks. It's still not easy to play, but easier. 
The buttons are still giving me a lot of trouble, but I think I just need to practice until my muscle memory lets me know where everything is. If buttons are right above or below, that's no problem. <laughs> But going from the one chord to the minor six chord, for example, is still pretty tricky. No. I think my prior knowledge and training with music is really helping me with this challenge. I know how to play piano, so the right hand is a little awkward, but I know my way around. And the buttons are tricky, but once you know the circle of fifths, you have an idea of where everything is, even if you can't physically get there yet. On top of that, you need to constantly be pumping air in and out of the instrument. This reminds me a lot of playing a woodwind instrument or even singing. You've got buttons that change the quality of the reeds here. That's kind of like an organ. There's a lot. If the accordion were my first introduction to music, I can't imagine trying to do all these things at the same time. <laughs> check-in. Overall, the accordion is getting more comfortable the longer I'm with it. I'm a lot faster at finding the buttons that I need, and putting both sides together gets less daunting each time I try. I spent a lot of time this week just freely improvising to improve my coordination between the hands, and I think that helped a lot. Going into the last week of this challenge, I'm getting ideas for what I want my piece to sound like. I haven't decided if it's going to be an accordion solo or if I want to layer other instruments in, but I think my progress at the end of the month will be the true deciding factor on that. Just like the harmonica, another free reed instrument, the accordion produces sound by moving air through reeds. I found that that and having the accordion so close to your body really encourages breathing with the instrument. A lot of the time you can be so focused on what you're playing that you forget to relax and feel the music. But so far I've felt really comfortable and tensionless playing the accordion, aside from the shoulder pain. There are three main sides to the accordion. The right side, which is usually a keyboard, it can either be like a piano or with buttons. The left side, which consists of your bass and chord buttons. Some classical accordions have more chromatic bass notes, but my model does not. And the bellows that actually move air through the instrument. I think it's really interesting that the design for something as small as the harmonica is upscaled in the exact same way for the accordion. For a more in-depth look on how free reads work, check out my video on the harmonica. <laughs> So I'm sitting down to write the piece, and I think I have an idea of where I want it to go. I've been listening to a lot of Jan Tiersen lately. He's most known for composing the soundtrack to the film Amelie. I really like his style of folk, post-rock, fusion, whatever you call it. So I want to take a lot of inspiration from his work. I was also researching a lot of modern techniques for the accordion and found a ton of stuff on the bellows button. I'm not sure if that's the technical name for it, but basically it's designed to close the accordion without having to play any notes. The noise reminds me a lot of heavy breathing or maybe waves crashing. It's really cool. So this will definitely be involved with the piece. <laughs>
Week four check-in. So this week was dedicated to finishing up the piece and trying to stay committed to my daily practice. I did improve a lot this month, but the accordion was a lot harder to learn than I thought it was going to be at the beginning of this challenge. I figured I already knew half the instrument because I could play piano, but the spacing and the touch were so different that it didn't help nearly as much as I thought it would. I do also still struggle a lot with the buttons, but I'm getting better every day. I started learning an Irish jig because I thought that would be fun. I can play the two parts separately, but putting them together is where it gets tricky. So that's the finished piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I also learned a lot about recording the accordion. 
I tried out a bunch of different miking patterns. I ended up using two condenser microphones as you saw in the video, but I'm really excited to keep experimenting with how to capture the sound of the accordion. It's such a dynamic instrument, which I absolutely love. This is for sure one of the most fun instruments I've tried to learn. There's a huge library of a ton of different kind of music, which is awesome. And you can get so many different sounds and textures from just one instrument. I definitely want to keep writing for the accordion and I definitely want to keep practicing to see how far I can go. But what do you think? Did you like the song? Did you gain a newfound respect for the accordion? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching.